by chance wins the next presidential election, he will take it to mean that the people approve of everything that we are doing. Prior to 2010, he would consult before taking decisions. Prior to 2010, he had to ask Vimal, D.E.W. Gunasekura, Tissavitarana or Champika before doing something. Then he started disregarding the other parties. Started acting according to his whim. After 2010, they did use the mountain of money from abroad and the mountain of money earned at home to build roads, bridges, culverts and highways. But on every one of these projects, they embezzled millions. He has allowed this corruption to take place by allowing his henchmen to steal public funds as per their want. It is none other than the executive president of Sri Lanka that is opposed to corruption and bribery being exposed. If you go back to their roots and look at how of all the people who became wealthy post-2010 generated their wealth, you will see that it has all been through racketeering, drugs, casinos and other such vices. <laughs> Nandana Gunatilaka also spoke on his future political goals. We made this president. I have attended 25 electorate meetings in this country. Please forgive me, but I had to lie to bring him into power. We made him and we are the ones that will work towards sending him home. Let us put forward the most able leader. Let us claim victory and let us free this nation. <laughs> What I want at the present time is to change the executive presidential system and the electoral system. The commissions that we worked hard to establish have been disenfranchised. They must be empowered to fulfill these ends. I believe that if a person is to come forward from a political party, then they must resign from that party and contest without any party affiliation. No, you, the country and the whole world are aware that there are several candidates.